How to fix volume buttons not working on your iPhone? Make sure ring volume and alerts are turned on. Open the iPhone settings. Go to sound and haptics. Under ringer and alerts, next to change with buttons, toggle the slider to enable the option. Check if silent mode is disabled. On the left side of your iPhone, you'll find a small switch above the volume buttons. It turns on and off the silent mode. Move the switch to see if the silent mode is turned on. Make sure that you turn off the silent mode, and then try to check with volume buttons if you can control the sound. Check your iPhone case. If the volume button stopped working when you put on a case on your iPhone, it's most likely the case is the issue. The defect around the volume buttons can prevent you from pressing them entirely, which is why it might seem like the button stopped working. Remove the case and check if you can adjust volume without it. If the issue is the case, change it. Check your apps. If you can't adjust the sound with volume buttons only in the app, reopen it. On iPhones with Face ID, swipe up from the middle bottom. On iPhones with a home button, double press it. Locate the app window and swipe up on it to close. After a few seconds, open the app again. Restart your iPhone. Volume buttons might also not work due to issues with iPhone software. Like any other operating system, it's not protected from bugs and glitches that can sometimes occur due to various reasons. We recommend restarting your device to remove any minor issues and give the iPhone a new start. Update your iPhone. Open the Settings app. Go to General Settings. Tap on Software Update. Wait while your device searches for updates. If found any, tap on Download and Install. Do a factory reset. Before resetting your iPhone to factory settings, make sure to back up all important information, as this reset will erase everything. Back up your photo, video and other files you want to keep to iCloud, your computer, or portable storage. Go to the Settings app. Tap on General and scroll to the bottom. Tap on Transfer or Reset iPhone. Then, select Erase All Content and Settings. Follow the on-screen instructions to fully reset your device. What to do if the volume buttons are stuck? Try to clean out accumulated dust with a vacuum cleaner. Choose the lowest pressure level on your vacuum cleaner and suck out the dust from under and around the buttons. Manually clean the area around volume buttons. Ideally, use a precision tool to make sure not to damage the buttons. Carefully lift the buttons. Due to impact or too much pressure, the volume controls might be stuck. Try to lift them slowly and check if that's the case. If so, proceed with the lifting until the buttons are back in their place. Hopefully, this video provided the information you were looking for. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The Disk Cleaner option will scan your computer for app caches, logs, downloaded files, and files still sitting in the trash. It will also show you how much space what files to take up on your Mac. Combo Cleaner will also help you look through all big files on your Mac and delete those you don't need. You can also scan Mac for duplicate files. Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more. And an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.